Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Mario So, and in today's video, we're gonna show you how to create speed ramps while editing videos on your phone. So it's great to see you back here on the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new here, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be in the know of future content. So a few weeks ago, I created a video on in-camera transitions that you can do directly on your phone. If you haven't watched that video yet, I'll be putting it up right here for you to take a look at. So make sure to watch that video after you watch this one. Don't leave me hanging here just yet. If you want to take your transitions to the next level and make it a lot more seamless, it's always good to have speed ramps. What a speed ramp is, is pretty much slowing down or speeding up your clip to achieve a desirable creative effect. So the reason why you want to include a speed ramp on a transition is to speed up the tail end of the first transition and the beginning of the second transition. And that is going to significantly hide that cut and make your transition a lot more seamless. So I'm gonna show you two ways of doing this. The first one is using Adobe Premiere Rush, which is an app on your phone and also on your desktop. But in this case, I'm gonna show you how to do it on the phone app. The second video editing app is one that I discussed and I'm starting to really fall in love recently for mobile editing and I discovered that app through a friend Palin. So if you haven't checked him out, make sure you check out his channel. He creates really engaging content on photography and also video editing. And the best thing about this app is that it's completely free. So you don't have to pay a single cent and it's a very powerful app for your phone. Let's jump into Premiere Rush right here. One thing that I really like about Premiere Rush is that you're able to layer videos. So that what that means is that you're able to put videos on top of each other. So we have these two clips selected. And my first clip is actually this one. So we're going to bring it, drag it, bring it back to the front. If you press on this icon at the bottom with the menu bar looking thing, you can engage different layers for audio and the different layers for video. But for this transition, we're only, be, we're only going to be working with one video layer. So we'll just hide that. And we'll play this clip to a point where I want it to start, so I want it to start about there. We can head down and cut it. And this part we don't need, so we can go ahead and delete it. This is where we do the transition. You want to have the cut right before the motion ends. So this is right before that motion ends. We cut it there and we can get rid of this clip right here. First, let's play this clip. So that's what the first clip looks like. And right now what we can do is go and select speed. And this is where we'll bring in that slow motion. And I shot it at 60 frames per second. If you wanted to slow it down for a 24 frames per second timeline, then you would slow it down 40%. We'll press on range speed and we'll slow it down to about 40%. And this is what it looks like. So it's also very useful if you shoot in slow motion because once you bring it into your video editor, it's going to make that clip longer, meaning that you have more material to work with for that transition. Now let's go ahead and work on the second clip. This clip will be starting from the top. So we start it from at a point where the motion starts. So we don't wanna start here. Uh, so we want to start, yeah, that's about right. So we can start here and make a cut. Go back and press on the scissors, you cut it. We can delete this first clip. And on this second clip, actually, I added another whip transition right here that, it go, that goes to the right. And on the same clip, I have another whip from the left to the right. So we're gonna work on that later on. Slow down this clip to about 40% as well. This is what it's looking like right now. And as you can see, the cut is not seamless. And because it's in slow motion, it's a very slow transition. So we can cut maybe around here as soon as the movement starts. And we'll go back to this clip. And we don't need this clip to be in slow motion anymore because we want it to be quick. So we can do about 150 and see what that, what that looks like. You can pinch on the timeline with both fingers to zoom in and out of it. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. Now we'll go on to this second clip and we'll cut it at this position right here. That's the position where I want the transition to start slowing down. So we'll go back to this clip and now we can adjust the speed for this clip. Let's set it to about 140 or close to that to see what it looks like. So we'll just press play. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Now we're going to work on the second part of the clip. So the second transition starts about here, so the movement, the, the whip 
to the right starts about here. So at this point, we'll make a cut. Let's go to the next part of the transition. And I turn my camera over here, and this is when I create that second whip to the right. This is where I start the movement, so I'm gonna make a cut right here. Because this clip is already in slow motion, as we had done it already at 42%, all we need to do now is just make a cut for that speed ramp piece. So we can make a cut about here. Yeah, so about, yeah, about there. So now we're going to speed up these two clips to smoothen out the transition. Let's play the entire thing. It's pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied with this. For the sake of this tutorial, I'll be happy with this. You can go ahead and tweak the speed on those two clips to finesse your transition even more. So now we're going to jump into VN Video Editor. I have to say that speed ramping on this app is way better than Premiere Rush. In Premiere Rush, you cannot have a true speed ramp, meaning that you cannot have slow and fast speed on the same clip. You have to cut a clip and just assign either a certain percentage of speed to a certain clip and a different percentage to another, which is what we just did in Premiere Rush. But now let's jump into VN Video Editor. Once you're in, you can hit the plus button, tap new project and find the clips that you want to include. So I'm going to go ahead and trim these clips for you first before we get started with the speed ramping. So let's go into it and select the first clip and go into speed here at the bottom. Right off the bat, you can see that there are two options, curved and regular. Regular is pretty much the same thing that you get in Premiere Rush where you can adjust the speed of one clip. And you can do it this way as well like Premiere Rush, but I want to show you how you can do speed ramping with curve instead, meaning that you can have different speeds entirely on the same clip, similar to how you would do it in Premiere Pro or Final Cut. We have a few presets. I want to show you the fast out preset first, and this is what it looks like. So the clip right now is playing in regular motion and that this second dot, it starts to increase in speed. One powerful thing about this is that you can use these little dots, which are keyframes to adjust the velocity or the speed of your clip. And I also like that this tells you the duration of your new clip. So the old clip would have been 4.23 seconds and this new clip, if I keep this speed ramp, it will be at 2.44 seconds. What I wanna do now is identify the point where I want the speed ramp to occur, which is at about here. So I want the clip to speed up at this point. We're going to bring this third keyframe and put it right there. Okay, so we're not quite there yet. What happens there is that the clip starts to speed up at this second point, but I want it to speed up closer too. We're gonna drag this keyframe all the way over here. And the last thing we wanna do is remember that we had shot this at 60 frames per second to slow it down to 24 frames per second. So we can slow it down a little bit more to make the initial clip slow motion. So we can drag this to about 50% and this second keyframe will drag it down to about 50% as well. Now, if you play this, we'll see slow motion at the beginning of the clip and right before we do the whip, we're gonna have a sped up part at the end. So I think the end kind of speeds up too much. So I'm going to adjust the last keyframe to about 396 and the second last to about 248. One really cool thing about this app is that you can add and remove keyframes as well. So you can tap and hold a place on the line to add a keyframe or you can tap and hold one of the circles to remove it. I'm pretty good with that. Let's save the changes and let's work on this second clip. So for this second clip, I'm going to adjust everything manually because I want it to start quickly and end quickly since we have two transitions in this one clip. So at this point in time, I'm going to tell this first keyframe to start at about 350% speed. And right about here, we want the clip to start the slow motion. So we can adjust the second clip and bring it down to 50% right about here. This third keyframe we can bring down as well, although we don't really need it, so you can delete it or you can bring it down as well. So now we're going to work on the second part of this clip. I want the speed ramp to start about here. So we'll bring this fourth keyframe to about here to tell us that this is where we want that speed ramp to begin. And the last keyframe we can drag up to about 300% or 320. Let's accept the changes and now we work on the third clip. For this one, we'll just select a preset fast in and make this speed ramp 
start stop about here and let's drag the first one to about 300%, the second one to about 300% as well. And the third keyframe, we want it at 50% along with the last one. How about that? And let's check this out. Okay, it's pretty good. And now let's watch the entire thing. Pretty good, the first transition was pretty nice. Pretty neat. That second transition was pretty neat too. Uh, I would go in and further tweak it a little bit more to make it even smoother, but this is the idea. So that is it for today's tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you did, please don't forget to like this video and share it with everyone you know. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Your support will be greatly appreciated. And that is all for today, guys. Until next time.